my lawyer was telling me no, but my ego was telling me yes. SNL tackles R. Kelly's unhinged interview with a very patient Leslie Jones as Gail King who quizzes him on his alleged sexual abuse of minors and then mocks his crisis manager. Saturday Night Life pushed the boundaries with a parody of this week's unhinged CBS interview with R. Kelly. Jones King refers to him as the individual who number ones, a cheeky reference to an alleged sex tape in which Kelly urinated on a woman, and he responds by asking to be called a victim. The pair discuss the allegations against Kelly in real life, as the artist is facing 10 counts of sexual abuse involved four women, three of whom were underage at the time. When asked why he decided to sit down for the interview, Thompson's Kelly says, because people think I'm some kind of a monster. I'm here to remove all of that. My lawyer was telling me no. But my ego. My ego was telling me yes. He goes on to complain that the Bonchell documentary series Surviving R. Kelly, which detailed the musician's long history of abuse, painted him as the devil. I'm not the devil, and even if I was, you can't say one nice thing about the devil, he asks. The skit also made multiple references to the fact that Kelly is illiterate, as his SNL version says, Look, I made a lot of mistakes in my life. I can't read or write, but I'm still a person. I pull on my pants one sleeve at a time. The show came hours after Kelly was released from jail when an anonymous donor paid the $181,000 he owed in child support. It poked fun at the fact that Kelly was seen stopping by a McDonald's after his release as Thompson's version made several mentions of his financial problems. Okay, fine, I love McDonald's. It's my favorite restaurant in the world. They got that burger that I like. What's it called? Starts with AQ, Thompson's Kelly says before Jones King replies, Big Max. In the middle of the interview, Kelly's crisis manager, played by Chris Redd, steps in to pour him a cup of water from a bottle with a McDonald's logo and assures him that the interview is going great. Just as Kelly had done in the real interview, Thompson stood up and waved his hands exaggeratedly as he defended himself to King, who was praised for keeping her composure when the actual outburst went down. Thompson's Kelly also repeatedly breaks out into song, to King's frustration. Several of the lines were pulled straight from the real-life interview, with minor modifications, such as this one, How stupid would it be for me, R. Kelly, with all the crazy legal things I did on tape, and I got away with, Scott Freeze, to do it again. He continues, Okay, guys, think for a minute. Use your brains. Why would I do these things? For 30 years. I gave y'all trapped in the closet. Feeling on your beauty. Age ain't nothing but a number. And so many other clues. At the end of the interview, King remarks, Robert, you've been combative, defensive, and completely unhinged. But somehow you expect us to believe you're completely innocent. Kelly replies, that would be ideal, yes. And now I humbly await your decision, Miss Jail King. My name is Gail King with AG, the host says. Kelly responds, so you're not the jail king. Then what am I doing here?